Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about layer 0 and how you can be eligible for the airdrop. I am going to tell you right out the gate that I might already be late. Um, I've had like airdrop fatigue and I didn't really want to do a lot of airdrops whatnot. But um, long story short, Arbitrum actually inspired me because there was Arb to be eligible for Arbitrum, you could have done things quite late in and still got the airdrop. So that kind of motivated me because I did get the Arbitrum airdrop and also you never know like um, when you have to do the task by etc. Et so anyway, this one this one was quite um, difficult for me to make because there's so many bridges and so many links. Um, but anyway, let's let's get straight into it. And obviously, as usual, nothing's financial advice and um, the airdrop's never guaranteed. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so first things first, what is layer zero? So here is, they say the Omnichain Interoperability Protocol. They're basically um, like a bridge, you can call it. And um, there's obviously other videos on YouTube uh, you can watch about um, layer zero. They are one of the highest caliber bridges that are coming out. They haven't got a token yet. Um, so they've raised 260 million or 250 million. And um, the last round, they raised 120 million. There is 120 million at three billion um, valuation, three billion dollar valuation. So as you can see, it's like a very, very a lot of investors are basically interested uh, in the Asians, A6 and Z, Uniswap Labs, Sequoia, PayPal Ventures, Poly Polygon, Coinbase Ventures, even uh, Binance as well. So it's, it's it's very anticipated. Personally, I've seen so many bridges attacked and hacked, etc. Out. I'm, I'm quite skeptical but um the airdrop should have a lot of hype etc so anyway let's get started into what the actions and what you need to do um this in your typical video there's actually some extra task and i'm going to share my personal notes and um not your usual task that you have to do there's some extra stuff as well so uh, make sure you watch this video to the end so, because i'm going to give you those extra nuggets that are going to basically make your wallet stand out um so yeah so let's get started so first thing you want to do is basically use this protocol called stargate finance so this is basically their flagship product by the layer zero team themselves and Star stargate finance is basically it's already got their own token and you can use basically layer zero's technology through them basically so it's like a front end to layer zero so what you want to do first is buy some stg tokens so you can buy it on different dexes etc but personally i just bought it from binance and then i withdraw it on the avax chain okay so because you can withdraw it on different networks so um, as you can see there's so many different blockchains etc so i think the easiest for most people is going to be binance or probably use a dex like uniswap or yeah but obviously you want to be able to withdraw on a network that's cheap etc so personally i just use binance or avax then what you want to do is you want to basically use the bridge so you want to bridge some tokens so what i done i bridge some tokens from the avax chain to a polygon chain okay so i connected my wallet obviously i've done here but um, I've connected my wallet and I just bridged it and it works. It should take a few minutes to work. Then what you want to do, so let's say I, I've got on AVAX. Let's say I've got 100 tokens. I sent 50 to Polygon Network, okay? Then what I've done is I staked some tokens, okay? So you go here, stake, and then obviously once you connect the wallet, you get the option to stake. So all the tokens I had on Polygon, I staked them, okay? So I still got the tokens on AVAX, okay? So then uh, what you want to do is you want to vote. Now to be able to vote, you need V tokens. I don't know if you understand, there's this whole thing with uh, V tokens. Basically, you accumulate these tokens as you've staked your initial tokens. So they're called VSTG, VESTG basically. And once you get those VSTG, then you can basically do the governance or you can basically uh, participate in the different votes and different governance uh, parameters, right? So I haven't got enough because I just done it recently, but um, I've done until here. So once you try to vote, it'll actually tell you if you've got enough to do the vote. Okay. So I believe this is going to be obviously one of the uh, main criteria to be eligible for the airdrop because this is by them and this is like an official that basically by the layer zero team. Anyway, so that's the first thing you want to do. You want to use Stargate. So just to recap, you want to buy the tokens, stake the tokens, bridge tokens, and then vote. Okay. And then I'll obviously have all the links on the step-by-step -step guide in the uh, description. But um, yeah, so next thing you want to do is basically use other bridges that are powered by layer zero. Okay, so they've, they've got uh, this Aptos bridge here that I've used to basically send some uh, USDC. So as you can see here, going out of Aptos to another chain, it takes, um, as you can see, it says 1.5 days. So just bear that in mind, it takes quite, quite some time and... So yeah, so what I done first, I sent some tokens from Polygon to Aptos 
and now I'm just, uh, sending some back. Well, I think I sent it from Arbitrum, but one of uh, one of the other, right? So this is the bridge you want to use. It's basically powered by layer zero. Then what you want to do is do a similar thing. So basically just have like USDC on one of the cheapest networks like Binance or Polygon. Personally, I use Polygon and Arbitrum. And so um, basically you can transfer from one network to another network, whatever you suppose. And one thing I realized, um, I forgot to mention, the Stargate that didn't work on my Brave browser. Maybe I've got some privacy settings, but I haven't added any extra than what was default. So I had to do that on Chrome. So if it doesn't work for you on Brave, just try Chrome. So yeah, so this is another bridge. As you can see, Pontum is another Aptus de Dex and ba bridge. So basically this one also, um, you do the same thing. You can just send USDC or USDT from one network um, to another network. And then here you got Pancakes also. That's another bridge that's basically, as you can see, for slash uh, Stargate is basically using a uh, layer zero's technology and you can basically bridge tokens here as well. So yeah, so these are three bridges. There's, there's so many bridges. When I've done research of this, Literally, I found like 20, 30 different links of different bridges, different tasks you can do. But I've tried to simplify it and make sure that the the, the bridges work because I've, I've used these personally and they're reputable, etc. And so, yeah, guys, so this is probably the most comprehensive guide that you'll find. So the next thing you want to do is use this thing called DAPGate. So remember I told you the there's an extra task that I'm going to tell you guys to do that will make your wallet stand out. So this is the DAP that you want to use. So this is DAP is basically an uh, ONFT platform. ONFT just stands for Omni omni chain um omni chain nft and you can mint them here and bridge them and he uses layer zero technology in the background okay so here you'll be able to mint on different uh, chains etc and also what you want to do is use uh, Gal uh galax dap gate and basically do all the tasks here so it's pretty straightforward it takes five minutes and just do this task once you've done them you'll be able to claim your uh, nft okay and um, if you're not sure what to do guys i've already got a thread so don't worry um, there's a thread by uh, No Brain Flip. I actually got the idea from him, and basically he talks about exactly how you need to use it. Um, and there's his link. I've got mine. I'll put in the description, but you can use his as well. And obviously you follow him because he gives quite a lot of alpha. So um, that's how you use uh, that that day. He tells you exactly how to do everything, guys. So don't worry about that. And uh, next thing you can do. Personally, I haven't done it. Um, there's a lending uh, platform called uh, Ra Radiant, and it also uses layer zero technology. As you can see, a part by layer zero. So you can potentially interact with this DAP to increase your chances. Like I said, because it's lending, I don't, I don't really do anything with regards to uh, lending. And so the next thing you can do is these are some bonus tasks. So you can basically start following other upcoming projects and um, upcoming launches of uh, layer zero based projects. And that would, that would base, basically, they also might do an airdrop, but also if they do like launch in beta or alpha, you can interact with that dApp. This is one of them that I found is quite reputable and I found it quite interesting. It's called Interswap Labs. And um, basically it's another project on top of uh, layer zero. So you can follow them. And obviously if they launch anything, you can try to interact with them. And then lastly, this is quite t time sensitive also. There's actually an NFT right now by Holograph and uh, layer zero. Um, they both haven't done an airdrop, so you can potentially do um claim this airdrop so what you can do you can actually claim it on any network so it's very cheap like polygon avalanche etc so um as you can see these are all the networks is available on guys so you can definitely do mint this because this might also increase your chances of the uh, airdrop so now i'll just go through my personal notes and just share anything that i've missed so these are all the threads that I've used. There's one by Fast Life that I think is one of the best and easiest to follow. So Stargate, as I mentioned, I, I bought the token on uh, AVAX on Binance. I uh, withdrawn my AVAX uh, chain and then I bridged it to Polygon and then I staked it, the Polygon tokens. And then to vote, you need VESTG. Um, I haven't done that because I haven't accumulated enough. Then bridge, there's three bridges that I've used. Uh, remember when you withdraw from Aptos to XBridge, uh, any, any other like uh, network, it's going to take roughly uh, 1.5 days, which is 5,000 blocks. And then Pontum to layer zero, what I done was I done, I, I bridged from Polygon to Aptos. And then from PancakeSwap, I done Polygon to Ar Arbitrum, okay, on, on that DEX. And then on DAPGate, um, like I said, I, I'm going to give you all the links. So you just follow that thread by No Brain Flip and then Radiant Capital. And then the upcoming task, I told you guys to follow that project and uh, mint that NFT. And lastly is just the usual extras that um, I mentioned in my previous airdrop videos. 
like um, you want to do this task on a weekly or monthly basis, just use it like a genuine user and uh, basically do task until the actual airdrop happens. And then obviously um, follow the project for what, what they have going on next. Just be a legit, legitimate user like how you'd use any other project. And also um, if they have a gig going around, etc., you definitely want to help them. Um, I don't think they need any more money. They've raised more than 250 million. But yeah, if they do have a round, then sometimes that is a criteria. And make sure you have some balance on the wallet that you're doing. Like a lot of people are farming. Um, I'm not going to say to farm or not to farm, but... Um, if you have like n no balance on, on, on the address, then um, it makes it look like you're just farming it basically, which reduces your chance of getting the edge up. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If there's anything else you guys want to watch, let me know and I'll see you in the next video.